Saturday on 103.5 WEZO. They were on Saturday night on um, PBS. That uh, what is it in the studio or uh, Studio 60 or whatever that thing is? They, it, it's on Saturday night, like at 10 mm-hmm. o'clock. Uh, an entire live show from the great job. And then uh, she was on the Grammys with Bon Jovi on Sunday night, singing that duet. So Christian wasn't there. I didn't see him. The Bean Boy. Bean Boy wasn't there. It was just her. He was on the red carpet. He must have been in the building. But you think? Yeah. Now well, I wonder why they would sing that song. That song wasn't an oh nine. Bon hit, Jovi. Was it? Bon Jovi did probably what three songs? They did their current single. They did uh, Who Says You Can't Go Home with Jennifer. And then they did some kind of special thing that CBS, you could go to the CBS website and vote for the Bon Jovi song you wanted to see them perform live on the Grammys. Hmm. So they did those two, and then they said, okay, we've tabulated the voting, and here it is. And it was, uh, then, then Bon Jovi did another song, one of their early, early hits. Hmm. Uh, so they did like three songs on the show that night. Hmm. Big deal for them. 8.36 at WECL. Speaking of a big deal, ladies and gentlemen, I think this is him. Oh. Yo! <laughs> Yo, dog! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> I watched the Grammys last night. I know all this, this hip-hop stuff now. I watched them, too. Uh, first time in years I had actually watched them, and I was uh, really entertained. And, and, and like you, the uh, the Bridge Over Troubled Water duet, uh, I thought was absolutely incredible. Just amazing. Just amazing. Yeah, you know, I don't often get goosebumps. And Whoa, Jesus. I'm yeah, sorry, I Gary I... and Darlene just jumped up here. You know, we're all frisky in the morning. That's I his know, cat, okay. by the way. That's Gary, his cat. Gary and Darlene get frisky in the morning. I've heard Yeah, that. but then you knew that. <laughs> yeah, I knew that. Anyway. Uh, said, so, bad joke, Tom, what's going on in the world today? Well, I'll tell you, there were just a couple of things I felt the need to touch base on. You know, uh, first of all, I found this interesting because I'm in the restaurant business, but there are some uh, designated Burger Kings in South Florida that are now offering draft beer with uh, some of their sandwich entrees. Hmm. Well, that ought to bring in the upscale Valentine's Day crowd, huh? (laughs) (laughs) I would think. (laughs) Oh, boy, I'm here to tell you. Uh, Let's see. I saw something scary in my rearview mirror yesterday. What? That's right, a Toyota. (laughs) (laughs) Well, you're two for two on sponsors. Yeah, thanks, man. We appreciate it so far. Uh, Well, you know, Toyota spokesmen for them now say that uh, if your gas pedal is stuck in the middle for more than four hours, (laughs) contact your physician immediately. All right. Uh, I'm going to give you one more shot, then we're hanging up. (laughs) Yeah, all right. Well, well, one more. Let's get CBS involved here. Oh, great. because, you know, they turned down a, uh, a Super Bowl ad for a gay website. Did you see that? I saw that. Yeah, well, that's a little hypocritical, don't you think? I mean, after all, they ran ads for regular dating services during the Tonys. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I mean, come on. The amazing, the talented, and uh, somewhat uh, unconventional. Hey, he finished strong. I'll get him really that. He really did. Bad joke, Tom. <laughs> table number three or four at Oscars. We'll see you up there tonight, buddy. I love you guys. Talk to you later. Take control of your health today.